Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today we are going to be doing my March bullet journal setup. Okay, so I know I missed February and I, I don't recall but I'm pretty sure I mentioned in my January bullet journal setup that I will miss February and I might have done a flip through. Um, I'll quickly show you guys how my, uh, I can't speak right now. I don't know why. I'm going to quickly flip through what I did for February, but this is going to be a March bullet journal monthly setup. <laughs> that is a lot of, that's a lot of words for one. So this, I have everything that I'm going to use in the screen right now. This is green, despite the fact that it looks very blue on camera, it is green. Um, I've decided to go with a blue, silver, and this kind of tealy green color scheme. This is my, these are, maybe, the washi tapes that I'm going to be using. So basically, this is um, a washi tape I got from the Philippines. It is from the National Bookstore. This is um, Michael's, I believe. I don't remember. I don't recall. I bought it somewhere. It's the actual like tape. There's like a paper backing to it. So there's that. And then these two, I got it from a pop-up shop. But they do have a actual physical shop. It is paper plus cloth. Or cloth. No, no, yeah, paper plus cloth. I always get their names mixed up. She does have a nice shop, but she also has a shop in Toronto, um, somewhere in Queen West. I do not recall. So those are the washi tapes I might use or might not use. So for my, for the colors of this uh, spread, I do have three Crayola Super Tips and I have a mild liner. So I have two grays, um, one's a lighter gray, one's a darker gray, obviously, um, a green and a blue um, mild liner. And the mild li this blue mild liner is part of the set. I don't know what that is because I cannot read Japanese. So those are the colors that I will be using. And then the pens that I will be using are the Pigma Micron pens. I These are my current favorite pens to use like in bullet journals, um, especially with like using colors and stuff so and then finally I made this sticker um, this might give you a hint as to what I'm gonna be using um, doing whatever so yeah I just made this I'm not gonna use all of this but we're gonna see okay I have that and the next I have sort of I'm going to sh quickly show you my uh, my February setup and I am still using a, Rod a Rodia, 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 whatever, however you say it, um, web book. I don't remember, I don't know the actual name of this, but yeah, it's just a dot grid, a five size in the orange. Was it orange? I don't know, that orange color. So let us go into the February. So this is my February cover page. I haven't been very creative with my cover page besides um, December, like look at my January one. Not creative at all. I think December was the only one that was somewhat creative. Yeah, I actually do. So I did not do much. Um, for my February setup, I did just do a similar setup to January, I am going to be change that, changing that up for March. And this is what I just did. Um, <laughs> I ran out of space, so I just wrote my Oodles of Doodles challenge on the side. I, yeah. I don't know what kind of challenges. Uh, we'll talk about that later. So yeah, this is just my, mount, my monthly setup for February. This is the, my Doodles how it looks like so far um, I did start coloring I did color it in in the beginning and then I just decided I like the not colored ones and then I decided to do um, actually llamas love lettering every damn day that's a long <laughs> that's a that's a long tongue full so what I did was I wanted it all to be at the same place so what I did was this essentially so I have 
this. <laughs> oh my god, I can't speak. I have this and I have this. And then I have these two. And then that's pretty much it. This is just then it goes straight to my weekly pages. So now we are gonna be doing March. First thing I'm going to do, I have a little sticky note. First thing I am going to do is I will do my March this. So yeah, the next page that I'm going to be doing is this is going to be my monthly page and then this is going to be my social media um, page. So I am just going to draw it in. This is, if you guys notice, is very similar to my December monthly. So I will do this really, really quickly. And I... Alright, so that was a lot more tedious than I expected it to be. Well, at least this side. Um, that was a lot of lines to draw in. I don't know if I'm going to do that for next month. We're going to see. So, for this, for my regular monthly plans, um, if you guys are wondering what my thought process was, I'm just erasing the little dots that I have on there. If you guys were wondering what my thought process was when I was planning this out, um, essentially both of these are going to be calendars. This is going to be my personal calendar where a lot of my events and all that stuff will be going on here. And then here are all my social media posts that I want to post up. Um, we'll see if this works for me. If not, uh, maybe I'll, I won't do this because this is very tedious and that is no bueno. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I will put the days of the week on the top part here. Actually, then I didn't plan this very well because <laughs> I didn't plan this very well because I didn't even write down my plans for next month. So I don't even have any of my colored pens that I usually use for my my like my color coding. I don't even have it here. Ugh, we are not going to talk about this. We're gonna just do this. I need some kind of like background to it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this um, washi that I got from National Bookstore and I will just put it behind it I'm kind of worried because the, it's not sticking to itself very it's not sticking to itself nicely but it does stick to the paper and let's just center it just a smidge <laughs> So this page is going to be um, all the doodles and prop um, prompts and I think what I also want to do on this page is I want to put like um, 
post within the month that I want to do. And this sticker, um, these two stickers, I think I'll just put it. So I will, I'll do that afterwards. Um, I will keep that there and then I am planning of doing, planning on doing Llamas Love Lettering again. And that's what this page is about. Okay, so I have that done. Um, what I'm going to do, uh, as I already mentioned earlier, I wasn't planning on, I was planning on doing more research as to what I'm gonna do. Um, but I figured, since I do have the space, I think that's what I'm going to use for my doodles for this month, for the month of March. I don't know why it took me so long to just say that word. Um, and I will do something similar to uh, February. I'm just going to do something like this. Um, so that's just gonna be blank and it will be filled out later. And this is not sticky. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is driving me insane. Why are you not sticking? I mean, I guess it shouldn't surprise me too much because it wasn't sticking to itself. But like, I wanted to stick to the like. Okay, I will just... Smooth this to over here. And then what I'm going to do for this side is I will have my, I will split into half, I think, or maybe I'll do in thirds. Yeah, I think I'll do in thirds. I want some space to write down Instagram ideas, YouTube ideas, all that jazz. So I will just put it on the side there. Okay, I have that down. That's pretty much it for right now. Um, let me just write down the dates. I don't even know what day March 1st lands. Okay, let's check. What does Mar when does March 1st land? Um, it lands on a Thursday. Oh my God. There's 31 days in March. I know that one. I know that much. Okay, so I just wrote one. I will just write the days of the week and then I will be right back. Okay, um, I was gonna write the stuff that I need to do on a piece of paper. I've just, this, you know, I'd have decided to not do that. Uh, I'm just going to do, look at my future planning and then we are just gonna work off of that. So, first thing I'm gonna write down are my work schedule. So, I have written down all this personal stuff. More will come afterwards um, as the week, months go by. But I am very happy with that. And then finally, what I think I'm going to do right now is I will mark off in a blue marker. This blue mild liner all the weekends in this one just so I can visually see it and I know what are what days are the weekends this might be a mistake but we are we're just gonna go with it we are gonna go with it i have that down and that's not too bad i will work, start working more on the cover page because Um, that's very Slytherin, <laughs> those colors. Um, not the best cover page, but we're gonna have to let it go. So this is that. I think that's it for what I wanna do. And then that will be filled out later. Oh, I should put the dates on these. Um, let's do five. My month. My March monthly is done being set up right now. Uh, so this is my cover page. I will probably write something on this page that's not related to March or something like that. I will write something there. But for now, I am kind of glad because it is 
not there. And off camera, what I did was I did put a little tab just so I would know when March starts. And yeah, that's just what that tab is. And I had to move the washi up a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, so that's my cover page. These are my two monthly pages. This is my personal, I guess, monthly page that I need to look at to remember what days I'm working in, where I need to be, all that jazz. And then this is going to be my social media post. I'm going to write down what, what I post and when I post it, um, if I do end up posting it. <laughs> so... Yeah, we'll see how this works. I kind of regret coloring it in with blue, but we're going to deal. We're going to deal with it. Um, yeah, I really enjoy that. It's pretty... We'll see what happens. It is very tedious to do this, so I don't know if I'm going to do it for every month. I might do something different. If it works for me, I'll do something different. Um, these are just going to be some ideas. Um, blog posts, YouTube, Instagram. I know I don't have a blog, but this is going to be my idea page for my blogs. Um, this is going to be the start of my Lama's Love Lettering page. Uh, she still hasn't come out with um, what the prompts are for March, but when she does, I will write it on top for like the first seven days. And that spans five pages. <laughs> and I will write down on top. This space is going to be for a doodle. I don't know which doodle I'm going to do as of right now, but I will have it here. I'll write it here. And then the next page, oh yeah, and off camera, I did add a little bit of washi here just to, I don't know, I felt like it. <laughs> um, that same washi that I used here, I used here. I will have my doodle prompts written down here and then all my doodles will be over here. So that comes to an end. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked this video. I, oh my God, I don't like my cover page. So I don't really see my cover page, so it's not that big of a deal, but I just don't wanna look at it. So this comes to an end for my March monthly bullet journal setup. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and click that bell notification button if you want to be notified of the videos I do post. Um, this is exciting. I hope you like this video, <laughs> obviously. And yeah, that is it. I'm quickly flipping through it yet again. Again, these last two pages, like the prompts pages aren't done yet, but we're going to deal with it. So that is it.